Breaking news tonight, a Malaysia Airlines flight with 239 people on board, including four Americans, has gone missing. Is the biggest aviation mystery of all time the disappearance of Malaysian Airlines flight MH370 about to be solved? Well, yes, if you believe the man you're about to meet. A. Anonymous. It's time we talk about this. Malaysian Airlines flight MH370 disappeared in 2014, and it was a complete mystery until now. A new theory cropped up, claiming to answer this mystery definitively. But in answering it, it also raises a ton more questions. Anonymous has said that it's time we talk about this. They uploaded a video detailing a new explanation for the disappearance of MH370. This explanation is more of a refined version of earlier theories. So. Does it hold up? Join us as we take a look at this theory and the man behind it all, Ashton Forbes. Will we finally get the definitive answer we've been looking for all this time? Theories of an abduction, the disappearance of Malaysia Airlines, MH370. Four years ago has led to various theories, and one intriguing theory proposes that aliens might be responsible for this aviation tragedy. This theory gained traction after the supposed leak of satellite footage and military drone footage on the internet. On March 8, 2014, Malaysia Airlines flight MH370, en route from Kuala Lumpur to Beijing, vanished without a trace. Despite presumptions that it went down in the Indian Ocean, the mystery remains unsolved and investigations have reached an impasse. Nations around the world tried their best to find the aircraft, but despite large-scale search attempts, their efforts never bore fruit. The 12 crew members and 227 passengers of the plane were never found. And the odd part is that the plane lost contact with air traffic control only 38 minutes after taking off. So, what possible explanation can there be for such a disappearance? A man by the name of Ashton Forbes researched the disappearance of flight MH370 extensively and in his research, he came across two videos that showed an entirely new perspective on the disappearance. These two videos were uploaded shortly after the news of the disappearance of the flight, and they show a terrifying scene of flight MH370 being chased by three objects. Ashton Forbes looked at these videos extensively and examined them himself. He detailed a letter to Congress talking about his findings. He clarified his intention to disclose publicly available information and established his credibility by mentioning his top-secret U.S. government clearance because of his contract work. However, this level of government clearance is unrelated to advanced technology. Emphasizing that he is not bound by a non-disclosure agreement, he said that his disclosure is neither a hoax nor misinformation, and everything presented is verifiable. So let's see what he has in store for the world. The Theory he states in his letter that he is revealing the most important video in the entire history of the world, and all the information he's unveiling is publicly available and verifiable even if you don't believe him. Ashton Forbes has formally requested a public hearing, expressing a willingness to provide testimony before Congress regarding the authenticity of specific videos and to offer a comprehensive explanation of their content. Additionally, he extends an invitation to physics experts to validate the scientific aspects presented in these videos. The videos in question claim to reveal the actual events surrounding Malaysian Airlines Flight 370 on March 7, 2014, at 1840 UTC near the Nicobar Islands. One video allegedly features an MQ-1C Grey Eagle, with a thermal layer added by the leaker while the other showcases a 3D battle space generated by the SPURS, also known as Space-Based Infrared System. This was done through SIGINT, or Signals Intelligence, utilizing data from spy satellite USA-229, accompanied by a sister satellite classified as Debris. This combination enables the creation of proven 3D stereoscopic imagery, observable in the satellite video. The oldest archived versions of the videos discovered were uploaded by a YouTube channel known as Regi Sidanon. They are a UFO video uploader who had previously uploaded unrelated videos. This suggests that they are not the original source, according to Ashton. Furthermore, higher quality versions were released by other UFO uploaders on YouTube, further implying that neither source is the original. The dates of these uploads are considered significant.
Providing links and details, Ashton Forbes points out that the satellite video was received on March 12, 2014, and uploaded on May 19, 2014, while the MQ-1C Grey Eagle video was received on June 5, 2014, and uploaded on June 13, 2014. But if these videos are so old and have been around for about a decade now, why are they significant today? Why are these theories being brought up again in 2023? That's because Ashton contends that the understanding of these videos as authentic only became possible in 2023. He says that advancements such as the 2017 DoD Navy UAP videos were necessary to comprehend FLIR footage, the 2019 Trump satellite leak aided in understanding related capabilities, and scientific papers from 2020 illuminated the feasibility of wormholes for human traversal. The emergence of superconductivity in LK99 and the integration of AI in daily use, like ChatGPT, collectively contribute to the understanding of the MH370 videos. The investigative group MH370X, founded by Ashton Forbes, utilized amateur historical trajectories to determine the location of the videos. Satellite experts identified the satellite's correct position through meticulous analysis, concluding that it captured the 3D stereoscopic video. The investigation pinpointed six sets of coordinates in the satellite video, initially misattributed to the South Indian Ocean. However, they realized that the only plausible location had to be the Nicobar Islands. This was because the observed left turn in both videos and coordinate shifts indicated the plane's southward and eastward turn. The satellite and witness, Catherine T., indicated the time as 1840 UTC on March 7, 2014. Ashton then provides evidence supporting the 3D stereoscopic nature of the satellite video. Sabier's details, the significance of USA 229, and the testimony of Catherine T. Having served as a citizen journalist for the past 10 weeks before writing the letter to Congress, Ashton Forbes, under the Twitter handle A. Just Xishton, has garnered substantial attention growing his X-Corp following from 30 to over 8,500 followers with diverse backgrounds. Ashton says that every aspect of the videos has been definitively proven as authentic, including the identification of assets, time, and location. Moreover, there is confirmation of a witness, Catherine T., and evidence pointing to a fire on the plane, likely caused by lithium-ion batteries breaking containment, leading to the spread of halon gas throughout the aircraft. Supporting the fire scenario, Ashton references a lithium-ion battery fire video. There was also no debris field, which is inconsistent with a 777 crashing into the ocean. The limited debris found aligns with the fire hypothesis, with some displaying burn marks. Additionally, Ashton talks about a fire suppression device from a B777 found in the Maldives bearing visible serial numbers, but this discovery was allegedly overlooked in the investigation. The Maldives was intentionally excluded from the search, despite reported sightings of the plane flying low with witnesses identifying the Malaysian airline stripe on March 8, 2014. So what does all this evidence mean at the end of the day? The convoluted narrative. He believes that the plane disappeared due to the use of some advanced technology, technology that is top secret and man-made. Ashton contends that the official narratives surrounding M.A. show thrice of our are deceptive a aimed at concealing the deployment of advanced technology for either saving the plane or espionage, particularly to prevent the 20 freescale semiconductor scientists on board from reaching China. Ashton suspects the scientists' involvement in the showcase technology. Evidence suggests that the plane did not crash into the ocean, as the Sosa system failed to detect the acoustic sound. Ashton points out the system's previous success in detecting the Titan submarine pop. While the Navy allegedly lied for five days, the Diego Garcia and Western Australia hydrophones also did not register any sound. Ashton expresses a wish for the significance of these videos to be solely about MH370, driven by a desire to bring truth and justice to the families of the victims, witnesses, the leaker, and the global population deceived by lies. However, he says that the videos hold a more profound revelation. Conclusive proof that the U.S. government is concealing advancements in superconductivity, teleportation, and free energy from the world. Ashton argues that every aspect in the videos has a scientific explanation. But do aliens have anything to do with this theory? 
Some say that the mysterious disappearance must have been caused by a wormhole opened up by aliens. But Ashton takes a different approach to this. He dismisses the notion of aliens in the videos. He attributes the phenomena to human technology. The assets in the videos begin filming the plane before the appearance of orbs, and Ashton suggests that the drone, incapable of catching up to a 777-200, intercepted it. He proposes that this operation is conducted by the U.S. government, questioning the possibility of such secrecy without a reverse engineering program. So, in other words, he implies that the U.S. government may have obtained this technology by scraping apart and reversing engineering technology obtained from others. Did they get it from other nations, or did they get it from something outside our planet entirely? Either way, the orbs behave in a way we've never seen before. The orbs defy gravity. This is because they're being propelled by a gravity engine, which is evident by the dark lines showing up in front of the orbs rather than behind them. The orbs also reached an estimated speed of Mach 3 when the drone intercepted them. This phenomenon is explained by artificial intelligence, in other words, a computer program. What happened to the plane? If the videos we see are real, then what happened to the plane? Was it teleported or was it destroyed? The videos, according to Ashton Forbes, do not depict the annihilation of matter, as the mass-energy equivalence formula made by Einstein implies that the zap would be more significant. Dismissing the possibility of an explosion, Ashton notes the cold nature of the thermal imagery, because if it was an explosion, the thermal image would represent that with bright red or yellow colors. Instead, it is dark, meaning that the zap effect is cold in nature. So he proposes an alternative explanation, a black hole. He refutes the idea of cloaking because the smoke disappears when the plane vanishes. This leads to only one possible scientific explanation, according to him, and that is teleportation. Ashton introduces the concept of a wormhole, saying that, surprisingly, humanely traversable wormholes are theoretically possible. The singularity observed in the videos induces a transitional phase state change in the plane, reverting to a wave function and acquiring a probabilistic nature. This is a phenomenon achievable only through superconductivity and free energy technology. Putting it simply, MH370 was teleported by using a quantum state called the Bose-Einstein condensate. When matter is cooled to near absolute zero, it starts exhibiting odd properties. All the matter combines into one entity and starts to resemble a wave rather than a particle. This state was predicted by Einstein back in 1924 and was only experimentally proven in 1995, and the experiment was only done on a cooled gas, not on an entire plane so the plane had to be supercooled to near absolute zero to reach this state. And this enabled faster than light travel. But there's still the question of where these videos really came from and if there's any verification of their authenticity. Who leaked the videos? In his investigative efforts, Ashton claims to have identified the leaker of the videos as Lieutenant Commander Edward C. Lynn. Despite the government's attempt to label him a traitor deserving of life imprisonment, Ashton argues that Lin is a hero who sought to reveal the truth about this technology and the events surrounding MH370. Lin, who accepted a plea deal under the belief that he compromised national security, was sentenced to nine years in prison and, according to Ashton, is likely bound by the plea deal not to discuss the videos further. Ashton says that vindicating Lin is crucial, along with rectifying the misinformation and discrediting of others. So, is this the undeniable truth of what happened to flight MH370, or is it another theory that will be put aside in favor of less controversial explanations? Let us know in the comments what you think of Ashton Forbes' insights, and be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more.